Mr. Augustin Courtauld, who is only 27, a member of the British Arctic Air Route Expedition, volunteered last December to spend five months alone on the Greenland ice cap to study the weather conditions which must be understood before the dream of a northern air route from Britain to Canada can be realized. He was left with provisions for only five months in one of the loneliest spaces in the world, 9,000 feet up on the ice cap, without any hope of getting into touch with other human beings until the spring. The long winter passed, and in March, a relief party set out to trek the 150 miles to this hermit of the Arctic, but they were driven back by raging blizzards. The airplane belonging to the expedition was hastily assembled, loaded with provisions, and set off from the base camp in an attempt to reach the marooned explorer. The disaster came again, a forced landing and the plane a wreck. An SOS was wireless, and Captain Arenberg, the famous Swedish airman, flew across the Atlantic by way of Iceland and arrived at the base, and here he is with his mechanic and wireless operator. With the help of native Eskimos, the undercarriage of the plane was altered to carry shees. Fresh supplies of oil were taken by sled to the landing ground, and members of the expedition fed the burning oil into baths to keep up a constant smoke signal for the return of the searchers. As time wore on, their anxiety grew, but at last a speck was seen in the sky, and Captain Arenberg made a perfect landing. He had sighted the rescue party, led by Watkins, and with them was Courtauld, fit and well, 120 miles from the base. And there he is with his rescuers. What a wonderful moment for the young explorer. After five months alone in the Greenland snows, to be with companions again. To see the sun after weeks of darkness in a snowed up tent. And his first pipe for tobacco ran out many weeks before. There's Chapman with him, one of the rescue party. There's Watkins, the leader, and the other member was Rhinel. What a difference a real wash makes. Now I'll bet that cigar tasted good.